That music must mean it's time for Animal Talk. It is America's Pet Show. Helping you out with your pets and having some fun along the way. Some of the best doggone pet people on the planet. Here it comes, Animal Talk. <laughs> Yay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs, cats, fish, reptiles, animals of all kind, welcome to the show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> it's Animal Talk. We're here to make your world animalogically safe and sound. I'm Jamie Flanagan. Uh, I come equipped with sarcastic comments. Uh, pretty much all I got. Really. Okay. Um, <laughs> We have. At least you're honest. Okay, Dr. <laughs> Trish Matson, I'm here to answer any of your veterinary questions. Someone with a degree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Donna Blummel. I'll be here to answer any training questions. And, of course, the uh, one missing voice that we have would be uh, Mark the Animal Hannes, who is on the phone. Mark? Hey, guys. I'm your fish, reptile, and pet product expert talking to you from the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C., where I have seen more things made out of stone <laughs> than I ever knew existed. Okay. What, what's made out of stone, Mark? Every single monument. We've oh. been to the Lincoln Memorial. We've been to the Jefferson Memorial. We've been to the Washington Monument. We went to Gettysburg. Ah, okay. And, uh, we're now actually on the way to the National Zoo. Mm. And we were at the National History Museum yesterday, saw some fascinating things there, saw the displays with everything from fossils to... Uh, Caveman, so it's been a actually it's it's been a great trip. I suppose he's supposed to be here on business, but it's basically turned into National Lampoon's uh, family vacation. Uh -oh. That's what it sounds We're like. We're going to Wally World. Okay. So so when you went to the Natural History Museum, you got to see lots of dinosaur dung, huh? You know what? I, I actually saw things that are not in my collection, and now I am envious. I like it. <laughs> Surprised he didn't try to steal it. There's a man that needs more fossilized poop in his life. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. All right. I, I think maybe Mark could be a, into Civil War reenactment. Yeah. Are you are you one of those? Uh, well, you know, I could do that. Yeah, I could. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, it's amazing. Right? Imagine that. <laughs> At Gettysburg, there were more than 200,000 soldiers there. Mm -hmm. More than 7 million bullets were fired in three days. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. And as a matter of fact... Um, That's pretty close to Detroit. There's, there's a metal detector <laughs> that I happen to have, and I have bullets. You, you have some w Civil War bullets. I found bullets. Oh, right on. I don't, think you're, supposed, no I don't think you're supposed to take those, Mark. No. That's, that's a national treasure you're ripping off there. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good luck getting those on the plane. All right. But if you need help <laughs> with your pets, you can give us a call. Of course, we'll have Mark to help answer all your reptile and, and creepy pet questions. <laughs> give us a call. And we also have a very special guest with us today. Uh, the man was born for entertainment. He was, he was since, a, since he was a wee lad and a singing altar boy, he has uh, been depicted as the uh, precocious love child of Jonathan Winters and Ethel Merman. <laughs> There's a visual for you. Yeah. <laughs> Our guest today, Kevin Meany. Kevin, welcome to Animal Talk. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on the program. So, I just uh, got to say one thing. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah, That's yeah. not right, you down in Washington stealing bullets out of Gettysburg. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You're going to be arrested and we're going to lose the house. <laughs> uh, That's all right. Kevin, I must admit I have used your phrase in vain for uh, years. Yeah. Well, that's good. Very good. Just send me the I, checks. I, 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 I steal material whenever possible. It's my job. That's good. No problem. All in the, uh, you know, for the animals. For the, that's right. You know. So not only do we have uh, an actual doctor, we have uh, Kevin, who will help you with uh, any of your pet problems today. Okay. <laughs> yes, I have two pets of my own who I take care of, you know, operate so on them. We're going to put you on the, we're gonna no, put I you on the spot. I, I, bring, I bring them to the vet. I, 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 told, I told Kevin, we're, yeah, we'll just have you in to talk, and now I'm putting him on the spot, and he's going to have to help people with their pets. I can, I, I listen, I <laughs> have taken care of pets for many years, so I'm, you know, I've got good common sense. An expert by default, then. So if you if you want uh, Kevin to help you with your pet, you get on the phone, you give us a call, and we'll make your world animalogically safe and sound. But of course, we probably have a couple emails backed up oh, of people that, that need some help. We have tons. Okay, dear Animal Talk. I got mail. Yay! <laughs> we are considering getting a Dalmatian, but I have heard that many of them are born deaf. Is this true? What? And do Dalmatians make good dogs? <laughs> 
<laughs> to have with young children. We have three children ranging in ages from three to ten. We are doing our homework before we get a new family dog. My kids want a Dalmatian because they love the 101 Dalmatians. Mm. Thank you for your time. And this is signed Cindy. I have heard that Dalmatians are horrible with children. Uh, not, not the best choice would be my no. advice. They're and very high strung. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and can be aggressive. That's the problem. Yep. Um, the the problem that they, that they mentioned there is the kids liked the movie. Well, unfortunately, so did a million other people. And that's mm -hmm. why there's so many bad breeding out there. Which leads to the problem, but yeah, that's that's never a good reason to get a dog because it was in a movie. And they're not all deaf, but mm -mm. certainly maybe more Dalmatians are deaf than other breeds, but it's not mm -hmm. a given. That's kind of an old uh, wives' tale. Yep. Well, you know, one of the problems that we run into in the past, too, is you take them home to children, and then they get out the markers and to connect the dots, and the dogs get all upset. Okay, okay. Then. Boy, we, we miss having you around, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no connect the dots on the dog. See, Don't not, be doing see when he's that. on why? When he's on the phone, we can't just smile and nod at him. No, okay. <laughs> no we actually have to verbalize that. Yeah, okay. yeah, but we can turn off then. his channel a lot easier. <laughs> so unfortunately oh, it's <laughs> it's two thumbs down on the Dalmatian yeah. as a family pet. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are. They're typically quite a handful, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um they they were they were bred for a specific purpose and that was to run alongside of the uh, the fire cars uh, back in the horse drawn carriage days where the fire trucks were not trucks you know motorized mm -hmm. trucks and they were to accompany the firemen they were really not a family dog they had a specific purpose keep the dogs in line or the horses in line and those sorts of things they're they're not necessarily bred for family purposes but they're so cute they are mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, they are so adorable and i'll tell you my in-laws got blessed with the mm -hmm. nicest dalmatian they got very lucky and i've told them that since i've known this dog you guys are the luckiest dalmatian owners i've ever met in my life because she is just i think she's too stupid to be anything but nice <laughs> <laughs> so donna could you recommend some breeds for her? good family dogs if they're yeah. looking for a medium-sized uh breed i'd say golden retrievers Golden Retrievers. Big, um, dumb, lovable. Exactly. They exactly. And they love... Don't even say it, Jamie. Uh. Don't even say it. <laughs> they, they love to be, to be uh, played with with the kids. Another one, if they wanted to go a little bit smaller, they could go with a Pug or a Boston Terrier. Those are two tough dogs that can take the, what the kids are going to dole out. <laughs> <laughs> they really can. And they're, they're, they have enough energy. It would keep the kids occupied. They're, they're good dogs. And they could also visit their local animal shelter Absolutely. and adopt a mixed breed that needs a home. Get a nice and loving they would mom. know its um, temperament and behavior already. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know, I always like to call Golden Retrievers the blondes of dogs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, like they are. I'll count the game. Yes, and they are wonderful dogs, but mm -hmm. they, they can have some health issues. Yes, so that's another thing to look into. How about a black lab for the, uh, for the family? Because they're, they're great dogs, too, mm -hmm. with kids. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're labs wonderful. are good. Mm hmm. Cool. Excellent. All right. So, Jason. Um, Hi. What do you want to do right now? I, I'm going to guess you want to do something like this. <laughs> I want to play a game. <laughs> it's time for a tricky trivia. That's right. And, Dr. Trish, how does this work? <laughs> Any idea? You do this to me every time. I know. I have a slight idea. All right. What, what am I going to do? I didn't learn this in vet school. Okay. Jamie's going to ask a question. <laughs> And if you call in with the right answer, you will win a wonderful prize. And actually, our prize this week, uh, just in time for Halloween, we have juicy gummies. Juicy gummies. Not just some juicy gummies, a whole case of juicy gummies. I've Kevin, have you ever had uh, juicy gummies? It's a whole uh, lot of gummies. No, I've never had the juicy gummies. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's weird stuff. We'll get you some juicy gummies uh, and possibly a whole case. Uh, All right. It's, it's, it's yes, they're, uh, they're America's uh, number one favorite gummy treats made with real fruit juices. Fat free. Fat free. It's Juicy actually a, it, it's a bag of sugar is pretty much what it That's is. That's what it but, is. Uh, <laughs> good stuff, but, but they are good. <laughs> but they're really, really good. Would you recommend to give those to the animals? No. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> These are people prizes, yeah. People prizes, thank That's you. Right. So what is the question? Oh, yeah, and on to the question. Um, you're off to the grocery store, and your dog is looking longingly at butt. You simply can't take him. To comfort your pooch, you spend a significant amount of time saying goodbye, cuddling, praising, and petting and cooing him. How will he feel when you actually walk out the door? Excited, agitated, and emotionally wound up? Angry and resentful? Calm and sleepy? Or happy to finally have the place to himself? 
Uh, those, are your, those are your choices. You're leaving for the grocery store. You spend a significant amount of time cuddling your puppy and petting him and saying goodbye. How will he feel when you actually walk out the door? Excited and agitated? Wound up? Uh, angry and resentful? Or happy to finally have the place to himself? Give us a call. You can win a case of Juicy Gummies. There's multiple guests. How hard could it be? So not too hard. Give us a call. Eight hundred four. Someone would say that's right. Is there a is there a definite answer? Yeah. Yes. Doctor. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Dr. Doctor Trish. Doctor. Yes. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I just play, I just one, play on one on the radio. Eight yes. hundred <laughs> animal talk on the IE America Radio Network. America Sound. Do you have a cat? Getting a little uh, litter litter box amnesia. Going where every once in the house. Is is it that seat? That I, makes you suddenly psychic. I, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I know. Psychic emanations, yes. Uh, someone has a dog out there right now <laughs> who's chewing on your shoes and you're not happy about it. Mm. We can help. We can help. Have you been to the doctor? Have you been to the vet? Have you been to the doctor <laughs> yourself? <laughs> have you taken your pet to the vet and uh, have had a question? Uh, they use big, big, fancy words, and uh, you want to you, you uh, get a, maybe a second opinion or at least a translation of things. Dr. Trish can help you with that. Uh, if you want someone to point and laugh at you, Kevin and I can help you out there. So give us a call, 800-738-1886. That's what I do on the show is I point and laugh. We'll make fun of somebody. We'll make we'll make fun of the callers. Yeah, we'll exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's they my love favorite. it though. That's my favorite thing to do. Mm-hmm. I have a, a trivia hanging out there, and uh, oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> I can't <laughs> okay, find Jamie. it. All right, we do oh, have a tricky boy. trivia hanging out there. You can win a case of juicy gummies if you give us a call. Uh, you're off to the grocery store, and your dog is looking longingly at you, but you simply can't take him. To comfort your pooch, you spend a significant amount of time saying goodbye, cuddling, praising, petting, and cooing him. How will he feel when you actually walk out the door? Uh, A, excited, agitated, and emotionally wound up. B, angry, angry and resentful. C, calm and sleepy. Or D, finally happy to have the place to himself. So uh, we have Linda online, too. Linda, welcome to Animal Talk. No, you're wrong, button. Oh, I got to hit him up. You you are like Mark today. I just, I'm all excited. <laughs> Linda, welcome to Animal Talk. Hello. I'm used to somebody else pushing the buttons for me on that one. Oh. All right. Linda, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm just a dog owner. You're just a dog <laughs> owner? Yeah, I have a terrible dog that won't mind at all. I'm my, I'm my dog's mother. Um, no. <laughs> um, no, that's, you know, the whole... Dr. Uh, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, that woman. So, all right, Linda, what kind of dog do you have? A German Shepherd. Okay. The Juicy Gummies are not for the dog, mind you. Okay. Um, here we go. Linda, What? Uh, I'll read the question for you again. You're off to the grocery store. Your dog is looking longing at, longingly at you, but you simply can't take him. To comfort the pooch, you spend a significant amount of time saying goodbye. Uh, how will he feel when you actually walk out the door? A, excited, agitated, and emotionally wound up. B, angry, angry and resentful. C, calm and sleepy. Or D, finally happy to have the place to himself. Well, mine is A. He you... jumps around and tries to get out. <laughs> so <laughs> wound up. To go still. Yes, A. All right, Linda. Congratulations. You're absolutely <laughs> correct. There, there was so much tension <laughs> here in the studio. Uh, you know, then we finally got the thumbs up on. Yeah, we were waiting that, for that the, the right effect. answer. That, that was the right that. answer, yeah. Oh, that's wow. That's great. But uh, if you're on hold and you want to play, stick around because uh, you too can win a case of Juicy Gummies. We'll play a little match game with you. So uh, don't All right. go away. Yay. So, Linda, uh, we'll send you out a case of Juicy Gummies just in time for Halloween. And uh, you can share those with the neighborhood kids, but not with the dog. All right. And the point is that that's the wrong thing to do when you leave the house. Oh, right, abs- Donna? absolutely. <laughs> what should what should yeah. you do when you're leaving the house, Donna? Make it as low-key as possible. You walk out the door. Do not say goodbye. Do not make a big deal out of it. If you make a big deal out of it, as we've just stated, you're going to create anxiety. And you're going to have a chewed-up coffee table when you get home. Oh, or drywall. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you keep, keep, them, keep the routine the same. Walk out the door. Grab your keys. Do not look back. Keep but I, going. But I find that uh, a lot of times... Like dog owners, and uh, they'll you know, and cat owners also. They they talk to the pets, you oh, know, sure. like they are. Yeah, you know, one this of the is family. The, one mm-hmm. of the family. Okay, now this is what I'm going to do. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back. out. I'm going to be back. I've got to go shopping, and I 
Now, uh, do I have my cell phone? Do I have my keys? My wallet? Okay, I've got to lock the door. You know, and you're walking, and then my wife will go, who are you talking? I'm talking to the animal. And all the dog says, is, just give me a Chewies and get out of here. <laughs> right. Just looking at you, does this mean I get my toy now? Uh-huh. So is that a bad thing to do? To kind of just like, you know. Well, if you're talking to yourself, don't don't talk to the dog. Don't talk to the dog. Never Don't. talk to your dog? No, no, no. You can, just not when you're getting ready to leave. Not when you're getting there. Yes. Yeah. And when you come home, as even though you're so happy to see them, don't make a big deal out of that either. Walk in the door, put down your stuff, take off your coat, put your keys in the proper spot, walk through, and then after you've done all of those things, then greet the dog. If you greet the dog upon just entering the home, again, you're going to create more anxiety. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. There could be submissive, submissive wedding mm-hmm. and the dog too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, sure, that happens. You, know, you get older, things exactly. can't hold it in anymore. You know, Kevin, the, when you came to Detroit the last time, um, we came and saw you um, perform, and you sang a song that has now become the theme song for my entire life. Oh. Actually, for my whole family. It's, I don't care, I don't care. <laughs> Make them stop. Well, that's nice. <laughs> there, so that, that's nice. So the Hannes clan is rolling down the highway right now, and instead of singing Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round, they're singing, <laughs> I, I don't, don't care. care. But there's, uh, I, I put some animal noises in that song, too, you know. <laughs> ruff, 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 meow, 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 <laughs> zoom, zoom, <laughs> meow, 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 <laughs> bing, bing, bing. I'm so bummed that I couldn't be there when you were, when you were in studio, Kevin. It just... Uh, as much as I wanted to be here, I mean, you're such a big time celebrity, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, you know, I was just on Pet Star. I was uh, just not a judge on the show. I was a celebrity judge. Celebrity judge. And that's also on the Animal Planet, where mm-hmm. Dr. Trish uh, works also. Has her little show. So, Save, saving the world. <laughs> yes, <laughs> making the world safer for our pets. That's all right. All right, we're going to be back with more Animal Talk in just a moment. You- we have uh, uh, in studio Kevin Meany, and we also have, of course, from uh, Animal Planet's Animal Cops, Dr. Trish. I, always, I just like doing that. I, I like know saying you that. do. <laughs> I just feel so close to celebrity when well, I meet that's, Trish. That's the whole point. You know, that's why we have to tell everybody, hey, mm-hmm. did you see that Animal Cops show? Yeah, did you see the doctor? I work with her. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And Donna, a bit of a celebrity herself, just because she's a superstar. <laughs> she also that's, has her own action figure. That's right. That's right. It's, it's all because I got the doll. You are the only one that has an action that's figure. That's right. That's right. That's well, is, is it a doll? Since it's a girl doll, is it an action figure or is it a doll? Oh, it's a doll. Since it's the Mistress Donna. If it's if it were an action figure, it'd be a lot smaller. Action okay. figures are smaller. So Dolls are, are these, bigger. These things I don't know. Mm-hmm. To, to you, but That's to guys, cool. yeah, so, guys she, are action figures, girls are dolls. She brought in the the, uh, the her the doll of her, and Brad, yeah. Brad started undressing it. Yeah, that was wrong. Figures. Yeah, well, you know, it's, <laughs> they, that's you know, it's a guy thing. We're twelve. I suppose. We're twelve. Yeah. Is, right. it, is the do? doll anatomically correct? I was going to ask that question. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh... I don't think so. Okay. I, I never got close enough to the doll to find out. No, yeah. no. We, we, we were having a hard time prying it out of Brad's hands. Okay. You know, the, That's okay. Everybody the did was. the same thing when when I first brought the, the doll in, and, and everybody did the exact same thing. They all moved the vest over. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just a... They, my, my nickname on the show is Mistress Donna, for, for Kevin, who may not okay. be aware of that. Mistress and, Donna? Mm-hmm. She, yeah. so whips, I, whips dogs into shape. That's right. Oh, That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now it's kind of an yeah. S&M thing here. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> And my one of uh, one of my friend's friends makes toys, mm-hmm. and he made me my own <laughs> Mistress Donna doll. So oh, that was in what, studio. What last kind week. of uh, clothes were was on Mistress Donna? Leather. Leather. Mm-hmm. Was it leather or pleather? Uh, probably pleather. Because Peta's yeah. listening. But it's supposed yeah. to look like leather. Don't get me started right. with Peta again. <laughs> leopard. It was leopard. No, black. Ooh. All black. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Right, yeah, I got it. Didn't, didn't think to bring it with me with today. A, with a whip. Yeah, 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 doubled as a microphone. There you mm-hmm. go. <laughs> so, Mistress Donna can help whip whip your uh, pets into, into if she shape. Ever, if she ever does a remote, we're sending her out like that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. You're probably going to get more people to show up. The stations are calling now. <laughs> you can send out Mark or Donna in her mistress outfit. That's right. You guys it's, choose. It's a whole new show now. <laughs> it is. I 800. thought I was going to be on a nice family <laughs> animal show. How about, how about now Mark? It's Mistress Donna. How about Mark and Donna's mistress outfit? Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. I only now have, that I'd pay to see. I only have one thing to say to that. <laughs> That's definitely not right. Can you, all right, listen here. Okay. <laughs>
Well, you know, I must admit, though, yesterday I got I got to uh, rub our national rocks. What? Okay. Yeah, the moon rocks. All right. The moon rocks. Yeah, you, you can actually... They let you touch them? Air and space machine, you can actually rub moon rocks. Yes. Just, just oh. steal one of those, too, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> He's walking around stealing national treasures. <laughs> you don't even watch it. <laughs> so, so you're out of this world now, right, Mark? Yeah, that's right. You touched a moon rock? I touched a moon rock. Wow. You remember that when they first came back from the moon? A lot mm-hmm. of you don't because you're too young, but... You know, they I had do. to be in isolation, mm-hmm. these people, oh, that's right. for, like, weeks. Mm-hmm. And now they're right at the entrance to Smithsonian where you can touch a moon yeah, rock. you can touch a moon rock. And wow. wow. It's disgusting with all the people's oils <laughs> on there. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Touching that moon rock. It's probably, you would never get moon stuff off it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all people stuff. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they right. look a whole lot like pop rocks, though. I'm not quite sure which, you know, they could, well, would we know? That's true. But I have a couple uh, news stories that were actually uh, kind of oh. interesting mm. things uh, pulled off the newswire that I thought uh, people should know about. Mm. Uh, cat burglar actually steals cats. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that report. Hummel's Wharf, Pennsylvania. Talk about a cat burglar. The police in Snyder County, Pennsylvania, are looking for someone who is stealing cats. Police aren't pussyfooting around. Boy, this reporter's on a game, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They say the, the cat snatcher took seven felines from a shelter in Monroe Township. <laughs> the cat burglar apparently struck early Saturday morning. Uh, authorities hope someone will call in with information uh, so they can scratch up some evidence about the thief. Oh, jeez. I just had to, how bad is that? They actually put that out. So Was he, Is he making tennis rackets or something? No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh. 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 Okay. That's, I, I don't get that. Jamie... Uh, at Animal Talk Radio. Yeah, blame it on no, me. Blame it on me. No, that was Jason. All right, another story I came across. Man jailed for snug- smuggling snakes in pants. Oh. Oh. Mark, Who have, hasn't done that? Have you? <laughs> I was just going to say. That's honest. disgusting. Yes. That, that, uh, that's Sid- a weekend for Mark. See, yeah. Sydney, Australia. <laughs> A Swedish tourist who tied who tried to smuggle eight baby snakes into Australia oh. in his trousers to fund the vacation will spend the rest of his visit there behind bars, as a court ordered last Wednesday. Uh, Pierre Johan Adolfsson, 28 years old, was sentenced in Sydney's central local court to two months in jail for importing endangered species and making false and misleading statements. Adolfsson was searched by customs officers uh, at the Sydney airport on September 22nd after arriving from Bangkok on Thai Airways. They found four venomous baby king cobras and four baby emerald tree boas strapped to his leg in homemade pouches. Uh, The cobras died in the nine-hour flight, but the boas survived. Why would you put hot herps in your pants is what I'm thinking. Mark? You know, I I, I have no idea. Let's see. Let's put something venomous down in the nether regions, hoping that it won't bite me. (laughs) Well, this is just to show that, you know, it's a good story for the kids out there listening because they will go into your pants. <laughs> you know? yeah. So if you think you're going to be able to get away with anything in your pants, that's right. they will check your pants. That's right. I actually, I test them all the time. I put my prescription <laughs> drugs in my underpants when I travel. <laughs> and I go, what, you know, what's in there? And I say, well, my antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, we're not in Kansas oh, anymore. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, boy. So I, I think you need an exceptionally large pair of pants to uh, smuggle in eight. You put those big pants on if you're taking snakes into Australia. <laughs> Don't be wearing your tight pants. You look insane with all those bulges. <laughs> That's like, not attractive. If you're not Mick Jagger, you're getting oh. searched. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have so many things to say, but I just can't say it on the radio. At some point, we have lost control of this show. It shall return shortly. Yes, it shall. So there you go. Um, There's there's the thing. Don't 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 put snakes in your pants. Just not a good idea. Mm -mm. Just not a good idea. Mm -mm. And don't steal cats. (laughs) You know. (laughs) <laughs> help you with that that dog that's digging in the backyard uh what to do with your pet on halloween mm. give us a call we'll we'll give you some advice we'll talk about that when we get back from the break what to do to help desensitize your dog to the zaniness that's going to happen in just a few days is your cat doing a tarzan swing from the drapes <laughs> give us a call we'll help you help you tame that wild feline for you and and our guest today in studio we got kevin meany kevin 
That's not right. It's so great to have you along. <laughs> Kevin no, recently great. taped uh, some things for the Animal Planet, the uh, pet star with uh, Mario Lopez, that Saved by the Bell guy. That yes. Has, he's a handsome, <laughs> strapping young man, isn't he? Handsome and strapping, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but pet star, you were the celebrity judge. Celebrity judge. Let's That's make right. that perfectly clear. I was a celebrity judge. Not just any old judge. Right. But for three episodes, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We did that out in... NBC Studios in Burbank, California. You must have seen a lot of crazy stuff on that show before yeah, they brought, you. Yeah, they brought in a horse in. that This horse could do so many tricks, and he was great. And uh, chicken, chicken man. <laughs> uh, you know, just people really, you know, just loving their pets and, Teaching you know, them to do weird things. Teaching them how to do th- weird things and, and just laughing, you know, because it's so funny. It's like just pure entertainment. So you, you know, know not the, cruel. You know, people have way too much time on their hands if they're teaching so. their horse that many tricks and bringing them on a show. Well, he lives in Oklahoma. Well, you know, oh. There's really not much to do. <laughs> sure. You know, he's got a horse and a wife. Do you have? Uh, are your pets trained? What? You, what do you have exactly? We have uh, two cats, mm-hmm. Froggy and Lucky. We adopted them from the Humane Society. All Thank right. you very much. Good for you. Yay. And uh, which they were tough. These uh, these folks at the Elmsford Humane Society in mm-hmm. Elmsford, New York. Yeah, sometimes it's tougher to uh, yeah, adopt it would have a been, pet than would, a child. It would have been it? easier to get a kid. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> they grilled me, and uh, I, I said, you will well, not let it outside, and you will not declaw it. I could have right. prepared you. You yes. should have called yeah. me. <laughs> but uh, the cats do go outside, but we didn't declaw. Okay. Okay. But they stay in most of the time. But they they do go out and they patrol. How, the- how mm-hmm. is your furniture? Our furniture's great. Yeah, they don't uh, they don't mess with the furniture. One chair they they kind of got to. I think they kind of pick one thing, yeah. and if you mm-hmm. let them have it, then don't sweat they, the rest. Yeah, so you can't. That's it, my approach. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Donna's cringing, but yeah, it's just and this they, carpet on the stairs. <laughs> and I love my my daughter. She's uh, four years old, and I say, uh, Kate, what does uh, uh, tell me how mommy reacts when the when the cats get into the bed? And she goes, No, no, get out, get out. Get out. <laughs> You know, it's so funny because, you know, she loves the cats getting in the bed, you know. Mm. And, the you know, the cat will jump up on the bed and snuggle with us, you know. And my wife just is not like one of these people, you know. Her family's not. And I love it when the family comes there. And oh, yeah. They and the break, cats, they, they, they run right to the him, door, don't they? And yeah. he's like this, I don't want the cat in the bed. I don't want the cat in the bed. <laughs> His shoulder blades are always riding high, you know. <laughs> he's just like a ball of stress, you know. And the cat jumps up on his lap. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the, and the so, cat knows. And my they daughter's do. and my daughter's like, oh, puppy, doggy <laughs> loves you. <laughs> <laughs> the cats know. They know the person mm-hmm. who hates cats the most in the room, yeah. or is and or is the most allergic. And yep. that's who they go to. And that's the lap they're going to sit on. Yep. They're, they're oh. brilliant, brilliant creatures. Oh, they yes. are. <laughs> they're aliens. They're not real. They're not. They're not of this world. They're aliens. But they are great animals. Uh, great pets mm-hmm. to have. Uh, cats. Mm-hmm. You know, they perform. Service in your house, you know, they kind of clear up bugs and things like that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. But actually, oh. my wife loved it once. There was a bee in the room, and Froggy got the bee, knocked oh. the bee down. <laughs> All right. And she was like screaming downstairs, Froggy got it! <laughs> Froggy saved me! <laughs> and the bee wasn't killed. The bee was just knocked out. And then I came up and opened up the window and kind of just staggered out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, wow, I'm not going back in there. <laughs> so, Kevin, we have the pleasure of your company because you're here in Detroit at uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle. Yes. Uh, but from here, where where are you off to next? What do you got coming up? Well, I've got the, uh, if you go to my website, mm-hmm. uh, kevinmeany.com, you can see uh, of all the Christmas shows that I'll be doing this December. Yeah, I was going to say that. November 1st, you're going to be uh, at the YMCA in Geneva, New York. Yes. Um, are you just staying at the Y or are you performing there? <laughs> well, the well, career Young I'll be man. at the Y for a few weeks. Well, the career has taken off, yeah, obviously. The really... <laughs> young man. Uh, no, they, they're, doing a, they're doing a show there, and they asked me to do this, uh, you know, there's a theater at the Y. So and... are you the policeman, the Indian? <laughs> what, do you, what do you do? Listen, I'm going to the Y to do a show, okay? okay? And that's all I'm saying. And that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's in Geneva, Can't New York. Can't you mention that I'll be in Boca Raton the following week? Then what about these great theaters I have I'm coming, you know, coming up? There at the Old uh, Performing Arts Center. And you do. December 6th coming up uh, in, in Keswick Glen- Theater. Kes- 
Keswick. Uh, yep, uh, State Theater in Easton, State Pennsylvania. Theaters. I mean, these are grand old uh, theaters. <laughs> you so have good. to mention up the YMCA. <laughs> Can I warm up there? And... It was the, it was the next one on the list. Oh. I was going to get to the other ones, but I wanted to talk about the Kevin Meany Christmas show. Is that uh, you and the Rockettes, or are you just by yourself kicking? Uh, <laughs> the... No, we've got uh, little uh, kids come out and they sing songs, and oh. people are knocking on my door all the time to, you know, come by and wish me Merry Christmas. Uh, it's kind of a so it is a whole show. It's a different than your regular uh, yes, than your regular routine. It's and... a you know music, fun, mm-hmm. telephone calls. Do you enlist the family in, in that? Do you uh, subject them to? I hire you out? a family, for, <laughs> okay. you know, a stage family. I'll have you know, not the real family. No, they're, you don't want to subject them home. to that. That'd be no. so much easier, though. <laughs> yeah, you have to get a stage family. Yeah, but see, uh, then yeah, see, then you have to go home with them, and yeah. if, if it didn't go well, <laughs> yeah. or, or you were like I am and very mean. No, of course I use my family. It's oh, a family show. Yeah. Oh, you do use your real yeah. family. Okay. Yes. I don't know. You might hire. No, I'm not hiring a <laughs> wife for the night. <laughs> <laughs> A wife? Uh, <laughs> you got a wife? That, yeah. That's what gets you into the YMCA. RuPaul okay. is playing my wife. That's what gets me into the YMCA, I'm guessing. Uh, so that's, you, have, you have several shows. You do uh, Terry, Terrytown? Terrytown, New York. That's New my York. hometown. And Music that's uh, there. December 20th. Uh, Culver, Indiana on December 17th. And uh, the Ulster Performing Arts Center oh, 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 mm-hmm. in uh, Kingston, New York. So uh, those are all on your website, yep. kevinmeany.com. KevinMeany.com. All yes. one word? No, it's all broken up. <laughs> of course it's all one word. That's the way you do it. That's that all internet thing. It's so. www.http <laughs> forward slash forward slash colon. <laughs> www. You know, and then the, you don't have to put any of that in anymore. Right. anymore. Nope. Just KevinMeany.com. KevinMeany.com. And M-E-A-N-E-Y. Good, good, good stuff on there, too. You have some sound bites and some video clips and yes. lots and lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Me with uh, many of the celebrities that I've come in contact with. <laughs> Oddly enough, not photos of us up there. No. 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 You know, picture of you with but, Jamie Flanagan. Yeah, that's right. I would love to have the picture of Jamie Flanagan <laughs> and me and Dr. Trish and Donna, the <laughs> trainer, Miss Donna. You know, the mistress. The mistress. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have my camera with me. And, and we'll hold and Mark. Mark. And Mark. And Mark. <laughs> Mark, you're in like a hole in, you know, in Washington. We'll hold the phone up. And that was Mark. That was Mark <laughs> on, the on the phone. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mark. If it wasn't for Mark, I wouldn't be here. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, well. We're going to take a quick break here, but uh, if you want to get on the phone, because we have more time to answer your animal questions, get uh, get on the phone now. <laughs> Donna, do we have any uh, an, another email oh, gosh, lingering I, out there? I, I have tons of email. Right, Hello. Uh, Congratulations, Skippy. You've got mail. There you go. My name is Steven, and I am looking for a good snake to start with. Hi, and Steven. <laughs> I've had a couple in the past, but they did not work out well. Right now, I'm taking care of a ribbon snake, and it's going great. But then again, I read that ribbon snakes are not for beginners. Any suggestions? So, our guest, uh, Kevin Meany. Kevin, what do you think? Ribbon snakes for beginners or not? Well, I'm just not a big fan of snakes as a pet. You know? So uh, I know that's it's such a loosely de- defined term as pet. You know, I yeah. think it's something you need to cuddle. Yeah. You know, will bring you your slippers or something that uh, something that can take your life. No, not so much a pet. You know, I don't know why you'd want a a snake. But that's know? why we have Mark. Mark right. is Mark is the our creepy rep, reptile pet expert. Mark ribbon snakes good for a for a snake. No creepy pet Mark here. Uh- <laughs> No, actually, ribbon snakes are not a good starter pet because they're difficult to get to eat, um, and they tend to be kind of skittish. A great starter snake is a corn snake or a king snake. Another one that would not be bad would be a um, captive-bred ball python. And it's always best to get a captive-bred animal because they uh, are immediately involved in eating from the time of birth or eating captivity. The other thing is there's really no need to deplete wild populations at this point. There's already enough pressure on them as it is, and almost everything in the planet is being bred, um, practically if it's worthwhile having as a pet. So do that. And, and, and you know, as we've been sitting here um, dealing with this, guys, we thought of, we read that news story about the guy putting snakes in their pants. I think we have to have a new song to help people to know to not put snakes in their pants. All right, we'll work on that. Right. Don't put snakes in your pants, they'll bite He's you there. Sad. You don't let them bite you there. Don't put snakes in your pants, they'll bite you there. 
Under your underwear. There you go, see? All right, there you go. All we'll, right. We'll be back with the second verse of Don't Put Snakes in Your Pants. He's uh, going to be arrested right. in DC. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. And that'll do it for another installment of Animal Talk. Thanks for being with us, and thanks for supporting our sponsors. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Animal Talk Radio, and, of course, the website, animaltalkradio.com. We'll see you next time on Animal Talk. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye.